but what so what I'm planning on doing today is preparing this squirrel that I shot for taxidermy. Now I attempted one a few weeks ago. I did everything perfect. But what I got wrong is I didn't leave paws on, well claws. I just assumed that you bought fake ones and then you put them in place after. Watched a couple of videos, found out that weren't the case. So I'm going to do this one today. I'm going to attempt to leave claws in place. First thing you have to do, you have to buy a rigid foam like body for inside. So the first thing you need to do, you need to measure it so you buy it right one. Measure it from tip of nose to base of tail. And this one is about ten and a half inch. Then you measure around its girth. So that is eight inch. So I bought appropriate form, sent off for that. That'll be a few days before it arrives. But I've got a couple of days work on this anyhow. So let's start process today. What you need to do first, it's getting stretched out. Got a bit of rigging notice that's set in. So you're looking for anus hole, which is here, obviously in between legs. And what you want to do is, it's a female squirrel, which makes it a bit easier, because it's not a male, it ain't got any testicles. You cut from anus, in a V, towards that leg, then this leg, and then you start to break it down. So, let's find the little, little hole. I'll go this way first. Found anus. The reason you do it this way is because depending on how you mount it will deter will like the collide your stitching and literally you only have to do these two cuts and you can skin it inside out and it'll prevent Any mistakes being seen really. That's all right, I'm happy with that. And like a lot of my other videos, use your fingers and your thumbs. So let's get a get hold of this a little bit. Start making a little nick this way. started there we go it's got that bit started so with squirrels they're quite slippery and that plastic ball isn't helping very much so I'm going to swap that out all it's doing is rattling about it's annoying me and probably annoying you at the same time so then we'll start working these legs out Quite simple. Let's put a bit of force into this. Don't be worried, if you make one or two little holes, you can stitch it up. Not that I want to be stitching it up, but. Now that leg's clear, 
hope you can see that. So what I'm going to do, I should have got these out beforehand. But I didn't. I eventually found them. I'm just going to cut through bone here. Be nice. Let's cut through. Leave that little bit. We'll get rid of that in a bit. You can see that. That's how that leg looks. Let's go onto this side. It's like using your fingers and your thumbs. Same with this leg. Let's get this leg out. You need to use your knife just to break down a few at ten minutes to do that. We'll be fleshing this out after anyway. Yeah. So I've made that little pocket. Pull that fair down. Not too far. Just to there. Same again. Cut through about there. And then it's a case of loosening everything else off. Spinning it round. I know camera angles won't probably be great, but I'm filming this on my own. I ain't got benefit of someone else helping me. What I'm doing now, I'm just working away down the tail. What I've got to do now, I've got to get this tail out, which is like tricky bits just work a little bit of that flesh away not too much all I'm doing is cutting fibers out the tail so that when I pull it it comes out how I want it to Seat tail there. Very slippy little buggers, these. Now I've got that exposed. Should <sighs> breaking them fibers. Slightly easier to get out.
<clears throat> there we go. One tail out complete. Pull that back around. That's it. It's one tail intact. So we're free, back legs, as you can see there. Tails out. Don't worry what it looks like at the minute. <sighs> nah. It's a case of. I didn't want to do that, but I have ruptured stomach now. But let's get a bit off there. Start working this away a bit. A lot of fat on this squirrel. What I'm going to do before I proceed any further, the clip guts. Ideally, obviously, you don't want to rupture the stomach, but it is what it is. Keep that away from legs. I'll get rid of this. Get rid of old mess first. So that's all that gone. Have to worry about any feces or like that spoiling the fur now. We've got a clean squirrel there. So now it is simpler. Okay, so working this fur off rest up, buddy. A lot of fat on this one. A lot of grease. Try and get some of this flesh off now. A little later, but. I'll take some off while I can. Trim it away. Move my fingers first. Just using my thumbs, breaking them fibres between membrane and skin. Trying to find this first leg. Bloody slipper. Should have brought some talc or something like that in. So I could have been a bit more purchase. There we go. Finding one now. a little bit break some of this this one is an exceptionally greasy squirrel full of fat it's been feeding well at winter you see it is coming away slowly Trying to get to these legs. See that one coming now. You can see how greasy this is. It could stay at my blood. It's 
that's it. Found that pocket now. That's what I'm trying to get to. So that'll help you. Same thing with this. I'm going to cut that leg back there. Throw it there. Turn it around. Let's get to this other one now. See it. Got that one. Same thing, don't pull it too far because I need to maintain some of that fur and stuff there. Bloody, bloody greasy. That's that like clear. So now I'm getting to Ed, which is quite a tricky bit part. What I want to do well, as far as I can. And then slowly, slowly start working round that there. All I'm doing is slowly breaking in fibres, get a little pull, a little stretch. This is a bit where you have to take a bit of time. Keep working it. I'm looking for here. Is the ears? I want to cut through the ears. Just being careful. Work back of that other way. I've just found pellet. Pill it, it will kill me. Working it. Got one of the eyes there. Gotta be careful around eyes. Got another little pull.
to the bottom jaw. Just trying to loosen that off now. So this bit will trick you. One eye for you. See what working round now. This is like your critical piece. And when we get to next is nose. See how I'm working that. Nose is here, so that's the next bit that you need to be really careful with. So this now should, in theory, <laughs> pop off. Making sure I've broken them fibres. 
least amount of resistance as possible I want. That's it. I've got squirrel there. I've got my fur. All done. Hoping that he is still there. Seem to be. So what I'm going to do with this while it's like this now. Well, first off, I've got to do legs. I've got to get that bone out and maintain them claws. See, I've got all lips there. I've got nose. Eyes look good. I'm hoping that ears. Yeah, them ears look all right, to be honest. So, first off, I'm going to prepare this squiddle now for the table. So I'll come back to you in a bit because I don't want to waste any of that meat. Obviously, it's perfectly good for eating. So I'll get that chopped up and I'll come back to the second part of doing feet and fleshing this uh, fur out. Right, fresh pair of gloves. Hopefully, it'll uh, cut down a bit of grease. So, for this, uh, sit down if I can, if it makes life a little bit easier. So, tricky bit. Just gonna start working this bone away. Trying to leave them claws intact. Again, I'm sorry if I can't get angles, but there is some good videos on YouTube. I'll put a link to the video I've watched so you can get some close-ups. What you do is you just pull it slightly, stretch that skin. Start breaking them tendons. Them fibres that bind skin to the bone. You should all know what tendons are. Especially if you're into shooting and fishing. And now this is my... It's my second attempt at this. First one I did really well, apart from this part. I forgot and I just cut feet off. I didn't forget. I was unaware what you did. Should have researched it first as everything. But I'm hoping this goes all right. If not, have a few more squirrels in freezer. trying to pull these but oh, it's not easy when your hands are greasy what I've seen people do and I ain't got any as it stands borax so you have a tub of borax what you do obviously rub your hands in it put it onto the body at squirrel and it stops a lot of this slippiness I could probably do, go and get some salt or and see. Look if I do see that bit of black, that's fur. So obviously you don't want to damage that. Let's see if I can a bit more purchase with these. See them fibres there. Just breaking them away. Slowly but surely. Cutting against bone. 
it's dulling my knife quite a bit to be honest with you. But I've only got four legs with knife left so. Thinking, nearly there. Cramping my hands, gripping too tight because it's a slipper. I think I'm about there. So, one last little nick, make sure I've got down to where I need to be. I think I am there. So I can feel that's like your feet. Yeah, that's what you want. Looks like you're just about to start seeing toes and claws. That's my sort of take on it. One last little stretch, I don't want to go too far. And what you do, you get these, you cut back there. You're supposed to cut back there. Yeah. Use some a little bit better than them. They're not best secretaries. You know, break that. Get your knife. You'll see. See toes. So I've literally cut that. And all you're leaving is nail, so you've, you've extracted all. So I'll do. Don't need to film the whole process me doing that. You've seen me do one. So now nah, I'll do other three. Now I'll come back to you. Right, so this next part. <coughs> get rid of a few tools. So I've done all feet. All them are done. Just claws left in there now. So as you can see, there's a lot of flesh left on this. So I need to flesh it out. What I need to do, I think this is going to be too big. I've got a fleshing board. I've had this made. To be honest with you, that's not bad, that. Probably do with being a little bit thinner, this. Probably take a half inch off it. But, you can see, it's not too bad. Yeah, so, it's not bad, that. I have to just find something to do with Edwee properly. But, all I'm going to do... Let's move that, I hope you can see. Move the camera slightly. So, all I'm going to do, I just need... Blunt butter knife. You see flesh there. I'm just gonna again this is the first for me. What you don't want is skin to be moving so you need to you need to hold it tight, get some purchase on it. coming off this. You see how it's coming off. It's oh. so bloody greasy man.
grease dripping off that. Again, grab it, get it tight. I'm going to stink a squirrel when I've done this. I've got it splashing all over. One thing I suppose. Look at that. Oh, that's come off there. It's like a mini workout. What you don't want is skin moving up and down. Got a big chunk off there. I'll show you this when I've done. I've got a lot of flesh off over there. Always lift it and move it round, don't just pull it round. But same thing. Just get that skin nice and tight. That bit there, big chunk. All that has to come off. I'm gonna do keep repeating this process, pull that skin tight, start at the top. little bits you miss you can't get where pair of scissors after you I wish I'd use some borax or something because the amount of grease and fat is unbelievable really right I'm not going to bore you with the whole process, you know what I'm going to do, I'm going to work all the way around, get all the legs, then I'm going to head blast, make sure I clean all that up, I'll come back to head bit when I get there. Right, so there's too much grease, have yourself some salt, no I'll do, I'll put a bit of that on it. To do two things, it'll cut down grease. And it likes as a preservative as well, a bit like borax. And that should make it a bit easier to work with. Right, so I fleshed that out. As you can see, I did use some salt. Not doing a bad job actually. If anybody's thinking having a go, trust me when I say it's harder than it looks. So all I've got left is around head. Just to trim up a little bit, especially like that little area there around lips and stuff. You've got to be really careful though. 
You don't want to lose whiskers, nose, eyes, ears. So I'm going to do I need to do first. The best thing to do is put your finger into the mouth. So you've got a bit of purchase behind. The little hole there, I reckon that wet pellet nearly come straight back out, nearly exited. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work my way around now. That's one of ears. They're being really careful. I think I can safely say, which squirrel anyway, this turns out alright. Be a one off and appreciate what taxidermists go through now. It's painstaking, attention to detail. Don't know how long I've been at this, but I've been at it a while. What I'll do with this then, I'll just try to get as much salt off as possible. And for now, just going to go in freezer in a bag when my form arrives, or probably a day or two before actually. I will. Get this out of the freezer, let it defrost, uh, and then get a good wash. Make sure it's dried. I'll show you the washing and drying process as well, or some of it, so you get an idea of what I've been doing. Like I said, this is probably a one-off. So I'll probably do a rabbit, same. Uh, and possibly, I'll probably do one in each. Like quarry that we encounter. We'll have to have a look at how we do birds. I bought a J a while ago that's on display in cabin. Might be an idea. to uh, bite birds because they look a little bit harder work than what I think I'll be able to do. Depends though. It's like anything. You have a go, you learn how to do it. And you get better the more you do. Bit of meat left round lips. Tell you what, since I sold it though, it's been a lot easier to work with. And just look over it, it's a nice big lump of meat there that I've missed. I want it legs, so. I'm doing, I'm not actually cutting, just cutting through it. I'm gripping it, pulling it away. Nice chunk of meat come off there. Legs are still inverted, look. I'm going to leave them like that. What I will do is I'll just trim round. Tie the legs up. I've already done it once. 
I'll make sure it all flashes off these as well. I've already done these when I, when I inverted legs. Just tidy them up. The only thing I've got left now, once I've just trimmed this up, is just split these lips. I'll split them. And then I'll flesh them a bit better. With that though, Doing a good job of that. I'm pleased, just check around with the ears. Give a little bit there, look. It's been painstaking. Harder work than what you think. So far. Very rewarding. <clears throat> A bit of flesh there above eye. Don't like I've got any holes in it, which I'm pleased about. and split the lips I'll be careful here, I don't want to go through them finger as a guide. Careful and whiskers, see them whiskers there. Don't want to get them either. Knife's gone a bit blunt actually. Not surprised. Been quite a bit of work. See what I've done? That's 
if he can go split it there. We'll see him on the other side. Engine knife's a bit sharper. And then now they split. You get the last bit of flesh off. Trying to show you, but I'm six foot five, it's breaking my bike bending all the time. I've got around that nose properly. That'll do. finished that's good Please with that. You can see it's all nice and white. Nothing. Yeah, just notice no a little bit here, look. Just when you think you're finished. So that's it for now. It's all fleshed out. Lips have been split. Legs are inverted. So I'm just going to leave it on this little fleshing board overnight. 
get a bit more salt after that, I don't want to leave too much salt on it. But uh, I'll leave it stood up like that. And then I'll come back, that, come back to that tomorrow. I'll give it a good wash, get it all dried. And I can leave it until me. A little bit there, a little bit of flesh. I'll uh, I'll leave it until my foam comes. And we'll get it put together and see what it looks like. So here we are. It's had a wash. Wash the inside and out. We're washing up liquid. Good five or six minutes. It's nice to see pores are intact, ears are intact, whiskers, eye, old pads. Happy with that, it's looking really good so far. So now I just need to dry it and then it's ready for its form when that does arrive. My first time you made a tail stand up, babes, is it? Ah. <laughs>